Today we're going to show you how to make an engraved mug using a sandblaster and a vinyl cutter. So first things first, let's get everything that we need. You're of course going to need a mug in order to put this on. You'll need um, your name or saying cut out uh, in vinyl. I don't. You'll also need a tape measure just to make sure that you get all uh, your measurements square on your mug. You'll need a razor blade or uh, anything similar to that. You'll need some transfer paper to uh, transfer your vinyl onto the mug. And then you'll need um, a dry erase marker is very helpful. And some extra tape or scrap vinyl to cover the rest of the glass uh, when you put it into the sandblaster. So for things, first things first, you're going to want to take your knife and the vinyl and you're actually going to do the opposite. So usually you peel off the outside and keep the letters, but this time you're actually going to want to peel out the letters. And then this creates a stencil that you can use for sandblasting and it will make the letters textured instead of the um, outside. And just a quick reminder to make sure you leave the inside of letters like A and E so that those parts uh, don't get sandblasted. The next thing you're going to want to do is take a piece of transfer paper and just do it as you usually would with any standard vinyl cut. Now you want to just make some basic markings as to where you want your vinyl and words to go, whether it's in relation to the handle, from the top to the bottom, and from side to side. Here I recommend using a dry erase marker just to make some basic uh, marks in the corners so that when you go to put your vinyl on, it will all be in the same place. So I just lightly uh, stuck this transfer paper on it. I haven't taken the, um, the backing off of the yellow vinyl yet. I just wanted to see with my markings because as you can tell, I cannot see through this paper so I couldn't actually see where my whiteboard marker was. So a nice, so a nice tip is to actually just uh, turn this around and if you just shine a light through this side, you can see how close it is to your markings. So as you can see, I'm pretty close there. Not exact, but as long as it's close enough, I think uh, that works for me. The other option that I also recommend doing is just honestly looking at it um, with your eyes, eyeballing it, seeing if it looks straight, if it looks crooked. It can be deceiving because your vinyl's not exact, but just give it a go. The third thing, if you really want to check it, is to just measure it to each of the letters and make sure that they're all the same distance. So now that my glass is all ready and I have my vinyl with the lettering on it, I'm just going to either take some masking tape or use some just scrap vinyl and just cover the whole entire glass so that the only part that gets etched is the words that you want to. Finished covering it with vinyl, so now it's into the sandblaster.
So we just sandblasted it for the first round and it's all looking really good. As you can see a little bit uh, on the J um, and the bottom of all these letters didn't quite get etched enough. So we're just gonna go back in and make sure that we grab these edges this time and then it'll all be good. So now that we've sandblasted the mug, we just grabbed um, a heat gun and we'll just aid the extra vinyl in coming off. You can also use a hair dryer or if you just used masking tape, then that should come off just fine. So there we have it. I took off all the rest of the vinyl and this is the final product of the mug. Turned out exactly how I wanted it to and it looks pretty clean. Today we're going to show you how to make Today we're going to show you how to make an engraved mug using a sandblaster and a vinyl cutter.